Hello and welcome to WRFL TV. My name is Kristen and I'm here at the Altona Football Club for week one of the Junior Grand Finals. In this episode, we'll speak to all the Premiership winning teams about how they went today. Let's check it out. With under 13 Division 1 Premiership team Point Cook, how does it feel? Good. It was great beating Williamstown. Finally beat him in the Grand Final. It feels good for the Grand Final. Coach, how does it feel? Oh yeah, great. Look, um, the boys committed to the program. We were 2-2 two and two after round 4 and then we actually went undefeated from there and we've been super since then and I'm really, really proud of the boys, especially uh, in the conditions. I'm, I'm super proud of the guys, so yeah, really happy. It was, as you said, tough conditions today. It's wet, windy. And what was the message before the game? Um, just stick with the program we'll be doing and go hard and we'll win. And as you said in, in the speeches, it's a very emotional win for you. You haven't won a premiership before. How, how does it feel? No, it's actually my sixth uh, go at it. I've actually lost five as a coach at junior level. So um, actually to be back at a club I coached at Altona or I lost some grand finals here was actually really good to be coaching back here as well. So um, yeah, super, super proud of the boys. And uh, yeah, I'm just wrapped to actually get one under the belt and get the monkey off the back now. So yeah, loving it. Yeah. Oh, they did. As I said, we were two and two after round four, and um, you know they we trained hard. Um, we were an hour and a half sessions, two nights a week. We, we did a lot of swimming as well, and other outside activities. And they gelled as a as a group really well. And yeah, we're just super proud of them, even though they're pains in the asses. <laughs> but no, no, they're just a really, really good bunch of kids. I've got really supportive parents as well, so <laughs> that's my dickhead kid. <laughs> and what would the celebrations be like now? Oh, go. <laughs> Go back to the club and get busy. Yeah, this sounds good. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm with Under 14 Division 1 Premiers, Point Cook. How does it feel, boys? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Just, just back to back makes it even better. Talk us through the season. You went undefeated. How, how does it feel sort of leading up to the grand final? Um, oh, yeah. It was hard, but yeah. as a team got through it and yeah. Yeah. It went well this season. Good, Big good bunch of boys. So, yeah. and so you did it last year. Did that give you any confidence heading into today? Yeah, heaps. 100 and 10 percent. You don't know what a grand final's like after winning one. So yeah, so 110 percent best, and then hopefully you can come back with the granny. Mm -hmm. So. And when the final siren went, how did it feel? Just a massive relief, I guess. Just having that another win, two years in a row, feels pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, talk to us about the, the group of boys that you have and the, the teamwork and, and the dedication you've put in this year. Yeah, it's, it's amazing Like with those fellas. They put in 110% at training and then come game day they put even 200% in. Yeah. So We've known them for ages, most of the boys. We're all great mates, makes it easier out in the field. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Thank I'm with under 15 girls, premiership winning team St Bernard's. How does it feel? Very good. Um, yes, good experience. Fan, fan, oh, absolutely fantastic. It was just a bloody good effort by all our girls. Um, yeah, fantastic. You faced Altona, who hadn't lost a game all season, and, and you got them today. What was the message before before the game? Um, just go out there, try your best, and leave nothing on the field. Okay. Yep. Um, we were actually, I was pretty confident, actually. Uh, we really had a good second semi and didn't kick straight. Today we kicked straight. Caitlin kicked a four. Last, the other week she kicked zero six or something. So, <laughs> um, they were a really good side, served it up to us. Um, but yeah, we, we did a great job and you know, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what else to say. It's the first year um, girls footy at St. Bernard's. I guess, what does it mean to the club to, to have these girls play footy? Right, uh, well, this is rain. We, um, first senior St. Bernard's side in 1963 won a flag. Um, my father was in that side, he was my sister today. Um, my daughter played, my cousin played, um, a nephew, a niece played, not a nephew. Um, so yeah, uh, it's just absolutely fantastic for some burners and hopefully we can go on um, to bigger and better things with the girls' footy. And what does it mean for you to, to play footy this year? Yes, it's been good. Um, it means a lot. Um, we made history out for St Bernard's and yeah. How will you be celebrating? Um, Gonna go back to the club yeah. with the Premiership Cup, and yeah, it's gonna be a good night. Yeah. I think we'll sing the song a few times. Yeah. Um, I know I'll, I'll be yeah. having a few beers actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the girls. I've got the bar off. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much.
I'm with Dallas and Jack, the under 15 Division 1 Premiers. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, it's a great feeling. Uh, the boys have been working really hard over the course of the year and playing against Point Cook that have been probably the best team for the whole year. It's, uh, it's an exciting finish and great for the boys to have that victory. It all came together. How does it feel for you? Oh, great. Me and the boys have been working hard all year round, even in the, in the pre-season. It's just great to lift up the cup at the end of the day. And Point Cook got you a few times this year. I think it was three times they defeated you. What was different about today? Uh, I think all three games that we've played so far this year have all been close. So I think it was just about believing in ourselves and working the ball through um, through the parts of the ground that we needed to. The boys followed their plans and as a result of that, uh, you know, we were able to get a really strong score on the board in that third quarter, which led to the victory. So yeah, it was a great effort. And talk us about the relationship with the boys. I know you've been working hard over the last um, three or four years, I guess. Talk about the friendship that you have with uh, the boys. All the boys are really close together. We love going to training week in, week out. It's just a great environment to be around. So how are we celebrating this victory? Uh, we'll be getting get together tonight. We've been fairly close over a few years now, so I think it's a really good opportunity for them to all get together with family as well and, and, and celebrate long and, long and hard tonight. Yeah. yeah, is there anyone you wanted to thank? Uh, just all the coaching staff. It's been a great year and learned a lot of lessons about footy and a lot of wise lessons from Dallas and couldn't be more thankful. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with Emily and Matt, the premiership winning team from Yarraville Centre for the under 15 Division 1 girls. How does it feel? Oh, it's fantastic. The girls have been tenacious all year. They haven't given up. They've trained very hard. They've developed their skills over the course of the season and they've just got better and better uh, all year. So it's been terrific. And for me personally, it's been a pleasure coaching the girls and seeing them develop as footballers, but also the, sh the friendship groups that they've made, um, not only amongst their own team, but amongst other clubs and teams. It's been a terrific experience, so it's been great. How does it feel for you? Oh, I'm speechless. It was pretty good. It's amazing. <laughs> when did you start playing footy this year? How did you get involved with it? Um, I started last year um, through the same club. Um, I just really enjoyed watching the Pies play, so I want to get in. <laughs> Oh, every single one of the players um, I go to and I talk to, like, there's no one that I can't go to. You would encourage other girls to play footy? Oh, yeah, every single girl should get out there and play some sport, at least footy. <laughs> and like you said, um, Caroline Springs has been a tough opponent, but you came out and all came together today. Uh, definitely, Caroline Springs have been the benchmark uh, for the whole season. They've been our, our team that we've watched admired. Um, they are very good, they're well organised, um, they've got some great skills amongst the girls and it's a, a broad based skills that they've got um, and we knew that we'd be meeting them in the final. We always knew that we'd get there in the end. Uh, we always knew that we'd be playing Caroline Springs. They're a fantastic club, um, fantastic coaching, uh, they were great to play against. Well, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. I'm with Luke and Matt, Cedar Under 17 Division 1 Premiers. How does that sound? Oh. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, Matthew. <laughs> yes, it was a tough Ford game, but uh, we always felt we had it. Not, not had it, not had the game, but we always felt we were, we were in striking range, so we never, ever gave up. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It was a very close game, and the conditions were horrible for most of the match. And uh, What were the thoughts at three-quarter time? Oh, we just uh, had self-belief in the group and thought we could always get the job done, even in the last quarter. So with the win coming back, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah with the win, we felt we felt, we knew we were going to hit the scoreboard, and we knew we had we had a bit of the momentum coming into the last quarter. And yeah, we we were we were confident. Yeah, but we obviously didn't think we we had the game won, but we were confident. Yeah, we, we knew we had the legs too. We had fresh legs. But having said that, we had a few injuries, but we still had a lot of runners to come through the mid. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. And in the rooms, you spoke about being a, a unified group and, and unity being really strong. What does it? What does this premiership mean to you? Oh, and everything. Boys. Everything. The boys, you know, worked hard all season since November, put in the hard yards, and it all pays off now. So get the we're, reward. We actually started in October. You might have started in October. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We, uh, yeah, well, we introduced about halfway through. Oh, no, probably about round four or five or something, Luke, and, and, and we identified the unity wasn't 100% and, yeah. and we worked on that. We had some fun activities during the year and, yeah, just brought the boys together and, 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 
And I think it showed today. You felt the love amongst the group, and it was yeah. It was, you just knew they they still had something. You know, it was fantastic. And how are we celebrating this victory? Oh, back to the club, and then we'll see where we go. We'll see you after that. Yes, yes. Well, they're underage. So, underage. You know. No drinking. No drinking tonight. <laughs> nah, we'll see how it goes. Congratulations, boys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.